Hi guys, it's Lindy from Stitch and Lindy. I am doing kind of an impromptu recipe video. Um, after my post of my grocery haul, I got an outpouring response that people wanted to see the recipes that I'm going to be using. So I'm trying these out. Um, there are actually some ingredients that I still need to get um, that are fully vegan, but I'm testing this. This is... We're starting with dinners this week, so that is what I'm working with. And then we'll slowly be looking for some other recipes for breakfast and lunch and snacks, etc. But we're starting with dinner for now. So I am, and thank you, Crystal, for pointing out that Yum and Yummer has some great um, meatless meals. So that's what I'm working with tonight. So I am on, I'm trying out these acorn, stu stu stuffed acorn squash. So these are stuffed with quinoa. So that is what I'm doing right now. So the first thing that I did was I have two acorn squash. I slice them in half and I clean them out. And you just have to put a rub on these. I do have the oven um, preheated to 350. And I have here, this is one tablespoon of butter. I don't have a vegan replacement of this. Anybody that is vegan or follows vegan or has any ideas for a vegan alternative for butter or what you use in place of it, let me know. Um, this just needed one tablespoon, so it's not a lot. Um, I'm assuming there's something else I could have used in place of it, but um, so I'm using one tablespoon of butter and I'm going to add to that two teaspoons of maple syrup. I am pointing this out based on what ingredients I have on hand. Um, some of it, so this is actually, my husband picked this up. This is not a light table syrup, so my points are going based on what I have. So keep that in mind for when you're pointing out this recipe. If you are doing it yourself, make sure you do load it in your recipe builder on the WW app so that you can see what um, your points would be with your ingredients. So with what I have, um, going with this recipe for four servings, even though that's a lot, um, I don't know if I can actually eat all of this because the acorn squash is pretty big. Um, but for four servings, it works out to be nine points per serving. And that's with your quinoa and everything um, stuffed into it. So it's not that bad. I actually am shocked at how full I am today for the first day that I'm on this. Um, how full I've been today and not wanted any snacks. So, I mean, I, ha I am busy through the day, so it keeps my mind off of wanting snacks. But I normally want an afternoon snack. And today, I'm still full right now. So, um, so far it's going good. We'll see. Um, so it says whisk together the butter, maple syrup, and cinnamon. So we need a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're just going to brush this mix over top of the squash. And then it will go into the oven and you're going to bake these squash for an hour in the oven. So I just mixed together a tablespoon of butter, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of maple syrup. So that is what we're going to brush over the squash. This is gonna smell amazing. If anybody hasn't tried acorn squash, acorn squash is very peppery. I actually, the first time we tried it, I just put olive oil and garlic powder and pepper on mine and not an overabundance of pepper because I don't normally eat pepper and it was spicy to me when I was eating it. So if anybody hasn't tried acorn squash it is a bit peppery so I'm just gonna brush this mixture over these and you do the recipe says to bake these cut side up so normally I would flip these but okay so I'm just brushing these on I guess you could really just put olive oil on these, but I am finding and I'm realizing that for these vegan meals, I am going to have to make sure that I stick by, because I'm always somebody that 
goes back to my regular garlic powder and pepper and I'm just plain simple Jane, but I will need to up my spice rack because I definitely need to make sure I'm incorporating all of these flavors so I don't have bland food, otherwise I'm not gonna like it at all. There we go. So there's our spread that we just put over them. I'll show you what these look like up close as well. And again, the oven is preheated to 350, so I'm just gonna put these in there for an hour. Hello, Miss Paigey. Right there on the microwave. Hi guys, I said, hi guys, I said was the mic on that. Okay, have and fun. Then, and then I'm going for a walk. Okay, you have fun on your walk. All right, so that is our squash in the oven. Let's put this timer on for 60 minutes. That way we don't forget about them. Okay, and then we are going to add, now what we need to do, don't mind me, this is kind of on the fly here. I'm trying to do this recipe. This is the first time I've ever made this, so we will see how this is together. So now we wanna make our filling. So in a medium pot, we're gonna bring the broth and the quinoa to a boil. So we need one and a one and three quarter cup of vegetable broth and one cup of quinoa. I actually have never tried quinoa. Um, I've, I actually sent my husband out when I first started WW to go and get quinoa for me. And he came back with millet. So that we've just been eating up the millet because that's what we've had in the house. So I've, I've never tried quinoa. I, I mean, I've tried it in a couple recipes that other people have made and I've tried it in their recipes, but I've never actually made it myself. I've always made millet. Okay. I don't know how hard it is to cook quinoa because like I said, I've never cooked it before. So I'm adding one and three quarter cup of vegetable broth. This recipe actually calls for sodium reduced. The store was completely out of stock this week. So I just got regular stock. So I'm adding one and three quarter cup of vegetable stock. I just have the no name vegetable stock. If anybody is not vegan, you can do this with, you can add anything to this. I actually have previously stuffed my acorn squash with the crack slaw or the deconstructed egg roll. So um, you can stuff acorn squash with really anything. It's it's a squash, so you can just stuff it with anything. But um, I'm interested to see how it will be with this quinoa. So I've just added one and three quarter cup of the stock, and now I'm adding one cup of the quinoa. I went to Bulk Barn and got my quinoa. There is so much stuff at Bulk Barn that I had no idea was even there. Okay, so I'm adding one cup of quinoa. I'm just gonna give that a stir. And uh, bring it to a boil over medium high heat. Reduce the heat to low and then stir in the rest. Okay, so I am just giving this a stir I'm going to add this onto the stove. Keep in mind your squash is in the oven, cooking at 350 for an hour. Um, so right now I am just going to put this on the burner and I'm gonna get this going. Once it comes to a boil, then I'll be back and show you what we're adding to it next. Hey guys, I'm back. That was actually faster than I thought. So our quinoa is boiling right now on the stove. So now I need to add in the recipe calls for a quarter cup of dried currants, but I don't have currants, so I'm using raisins. So um, if you have currants, just make sure to readjust your points if they're any different. I haven't pointed out currants, so I don't know what the difference is. So I'm adding a quarter cup of raisins, and I've just, I had the jumbo sun-kissed raisins, so I am just, um, I just 
really uh, coarsely chop them. It's not, they're still big pieces, but I, I don't mind that. Now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of ground cumin. I don't, cumin scares me because I am, I don't know, I'm not somebody that is very good with different flavors. So this one is kind of, I don't know, I've always been kind of scared off. So I've got one teaspoon of cumin. You also need one teaspoon of curry powder, but I don't have curry powder, so I'm not adding that. Half a teaspoon of ground coriander, I don't have that either. And then a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. So, add my sea salt. Mix that all up. And then what we do is it says to turn it down to low and let it simmer on low covered. So you want to put your pot, the lid on your pot and let it simmer on low for 15 minutes. I just want to say, looking over recipes that I have found for vegan and vegetarian, the flavoring profiles are out of this world. So I want to make sure that I'm trying to stick as close as I can to the flavoring profiles that these recipes call for because I don't want to um, miss out on the flavors and then not enjoy these recipes because getting off of meat is going to be extremely hard. This is not something that I ever wanted to do, nor do I even know if I want to do it yet. Um, my husband, what spiked this is my husband watched the all famous um, documentary that everybody's talking about right now on Netflix, Game Changer, and it's it just lit something in him and he wants to try it. We have friends that are vegan and he's, my husband's always been against it. He's never been somebody that has wanted to do this. So for him to be, have this much interest in it, I thought I might as well. And he's always somebody that's supported me with WW. So if we can incorporate this with WW and be healthy at the same time, why not? So we're giving this a try. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm noticing as I'm going, there's a lot of um, spices and tastes and flavor profiles. Let me know anybody that's vegan or anybody that experiments with some vegan recipes, what are your go-to staple um, spices and flavors that you keep on hand? I need to get my um, spice rack stocked for this. So let me know what your go-to is and as well as um, your alternative for butter. That was one thing that I didn't have here um, that I wasn't thinking about that I needed to find a, an alternative for. So let me know what your alternative would have been for something like this where I brushed it on. I don't know if I can use water or if there's anything else that I can use. Um, I don't know if a lemon juice, I don't know how that would taste with cinnamon, but um, let me know. Let me know some alternatives. I am letting this boil. It's gonna go for 15 minutes and then I'll be back and I'll show you the rest of the recipe. Hey guys, so the quinoa is, all the liquid is now gone. So now we're just have to stir in our, the next thing we need to do is stir in spinach and you want to cover and let it stand for 10 minutes or until the squash is ready. So this is two cups of spinach. I had, um, I didn't have baby spinach, I had large spinach, so I just cut it up a bit. So I'm just going to stir this in and you want to take your quinoa off of the heat. Our squash is cooking so beautifully. It smells amazing in here between the um, cumin and the uh, cinnamon. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Plus the raisins that are in this. I, I can't get over the flavor profiles that are in vegan and vegetarian meals. And it's, you know, we always say we won't do something unless the, the food actually tastes good. And I can't say enough about how much flavoring there is to these, these foods. I never ever thought that I would try this and I'm really so far really happy. I've only had a couple meals and they've all been delicious so far. So 
Um, another thing, and I don't know if uh, we're just excited about this or what, um, but we did go to bed a little earlier last night, but we woke up with so much. I'm just putting the lid on these and that just stays until those the acorn squash are done. So that was on for um, 12 to 15 minutes and it was just until the liquid was gone in the chemo and then you mix in the spinach. So it was two cups of spinach. So once your squash is ready, then what you want to do is stir in a quarter cup of sliced almonds and two tablespoon of minced parsley either parsley cilantro or mint i have parsley so i am doing two tablespoons of fresh parsley and that's what you mix into it so that is that's what i'm going to do for these so i'll come back and and show you once i'm actually get it plated what they look like but um what i was going to say was we did go to bed a little earlier last night but we woke up and felt amazing we had so much energy we felt so rested um I didn't wake up with a headache, which I have been in the last probably week or two weeks. I've been waking up every morning with a headache. So um, I'm excited for these changes and how we'll feel with them. So if anybody is following vegan or vegetarian or has any um, great vegan recipes that they want to share, please let me know. Either post it on my Connect, on my um, Weight Loss Journey um, Facebook group, or on um, down below in the comments. I, I would truly appreciate it. I've had an outpouring of support on this and people just asking for me to share these recipes while I'm going through this and figuring this out. So I truly appreciate every single one of you that's reached out to me and sent me recipes already, giving me tips, giving me pointers on certain things. Um, it's, it's so helpful and I'm taking note of all of it. So. I have yet to watch the documentary Game Changers, so I still have to watch it. And my husband's also watching another one that somebody on Connect um, also uh, recommended was called, I believe it's Knife to Fork. So I've got two documentaries that I need to watch. If anybody else has watched these, let me know what you thought. If anybody hasn't, by all means, watch them. I'm going to watch Game Changers tonight, um, get more information on this. And um, another question I had for people that are following this and are vegan what vitamins are you taking? Because it was mentioned to me as well to make sure that my vitamins are good and just, obviously we're looking into this more, we're just starting. So we don't have all the information that we need. Um, so we're still every day learning new stuff. We just started this this weekend. So um, this is day two for us. So we're just going through this and learning more. So um, is it just a multivitamin that we should be taking? Is there any vitamins that we should be upping? Should we be talking to our doctor about what vitamins we need? Obviously, everybody will say, talk to your doctor, but what is a, vi like, is it a multivitamin good? I don't know. I'm still looking into all this, so any tips and information that you'd like to give me, by all means, please, I'd love to hear it. I will be back once my squash is ready, um, and uh, I will show you it plated and how it uh, looks, the final product, so stay tuned okay we're back so everything is done now so i'm just doing the final prep i wanted to show you everything as i'm going so i'm just gonna turn you down here so i've got are you bouncing um i've got the millet all prepped so this has the um all the spices the vegetable stock um you got spinach and some raisins i did call for currants but i only had raisins so that's what's added to that and i'm just gonna stir in a quarter cup of sliced almonds and two tablespoons of chopped um, this is parsley you can add cilantro or mint whatever you have on hand I had parsley so that's what I'm using okay so we're just going to stir all this in and then our I like all these textures that's added to this. So raisins, you've got your almonds, the quinoa, and you've got your spinach. And the smell in here is amazing because there's the cinnamon that was cooking on the um, squash and then you've got the cumin that's in the quinoa and it's so fragrant. The cumin I'm worried about, it's not a flavor profile that I ever eat, so that is one thing. I'm also serving this with a garden salad, so 
in case you want. I don't know if we're even gonna need something on the side, but. And then I'll show you these. So these are the acorn squash. They baked in the oven at 350 for an hour. So they are just golden, they're soft, the fork goes right through them easily, and they're, they do have a little bit of the butter and um, cinnamon and maple syrup, still kind of pooled in the middle, so that'll actually be more of a flavoring profile for when we stuff them. So I am just going to get a plate together here. Let's hope I don't drop this while I'm plating it for you guys. Okay, so we've got the squash, and I'm just gonna fill the cavity up with the quinoa. Just a second, Paigey. But I need my milk stuff. They're in the garage. Yeah. Mm, probably with the gardening stuff. No, my dust. My back horns. Oh, in the in your backpack. And there we go. So that is the quinoa stuffed acorn squash. And I'm going to pair it with a garden salad. So this comes to nine points with the ingredients that I am using. If you're using anything different, make sure that you are changing your recipe in the recipe builder when you are building it. Um, and let me know what... If you guys have tried this recipe from Yummy Yummer, um, Crystal, I think, recommended this one. I think this was one that you recommended, Crystal. Um, a lot of people have recommended some curries. I can't, I've never been able to do curry, so I need to kind of, this is kind of my testing point with the cumin, so I'm slowly getting there, guys. Be patient with me, but I love all these suggestions that you guys are sending me, all the recipes. I truly appreciate all of this. All of the support. I didn't know how a lot of people, you never know with this type of journey how people react. Um, there's so many different things out there today that so many people are either against or totally love. So I'm really liking the feedback that I'm getting and I'm hoping that I can get some more recipes sent to me. Um, even if I'm not doing this full time, even just to start doing this and replacing some meals for doing um, these recipes, it's it will help so um this is our nine point dinner for tonight the, i've got the garden salad another thing i wanted to ask was anybody have any recommendations for some vegan salad dressings let me know what you guys use um i hope you guys like this video i hope you like this recipe i'll let you know what i think when i give this a try and actually let me give this a try even just the quinoa let's see see how we like it Mm. The raisins in it are so good. You don't even taste the quinoa. Or not the quinoa, the cumin. It's really at the back. It's delicious. I can just imagine what it's going to taste with the squash. So I like this so far. If anybody else has tried this and changed it up in any way, let me know. Give me some suggestions below if you are doing vegan have some other recipes that you'd like me to try, let me know. I'd love to try some out. This is delicious. I'm going to love this. And the squash, I already know that I love the squash. And just to add cinnamon on it, I never would have thought of doing that. So I'm very excited for this meal. I hope you guys like this recipe. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I will also put in the description below um, the link for the Yum and Yummer cookbook if you haven't gotten it already. Most WW centers, I believe they're still carrying it. I have also found it at Chapters and, um, where else was it? Costco. Costco had it too. I don't know if those stores are still carrying it. I don't think I've seen it at our WW studio in a while. Maybe I have. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention, but I'll drop the link below in the description. There's a little arrow at the corner you can drop down. It gives you any kind of links that I post in my description or anything that I want to share. Um, the Yum and Yummer cookbook, I will post the um, link for the Amazon link in there if anybody's interested in finding it out. Um, I don't know if there's a Kindle or an audiobook on this one. I'm not too sure. Usually there is a Kindle on the recipe book. So anyways, I'll post the link below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. 
And if you want to be alerted of any new videos that I'm posting, tap the bell button and you will be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. How's dinner? It's amazing. Really good. I wish I got your reaction as you were eating it. It's better than any fast food crap, that's for sure. You just said, I'm excited to never eat McDonald's again. That's I right. never thought I would hear those words out of your mouth. When I would get meals like this every day, who would miss it? <laughs> so Austin gives it two thumbs up.